Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming this video. I'm in Arizona right now. As you guys could tell, I'm not in my regular setup thing. So yesterday I was on my way to my mom's and I was like, you know what? I want to film a video tomorrow. And I was just thinking of random ideas. So I went to Ulta and I was like, what if I make an entire makeup look using only one palette? It's never been an entire challenge to use every single eyeshadow on the palette. So the palette that I'm going to be using is the Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette. This is a collab with Morphe. I'm gonna show you guys really quick what the palette looks like. We got 10 different eyeshadows. They're all kind of in the same tone, so I don't think it's gonna be that difficult. However, I'm not the best at applying eyeshadows. I usually stick to like two eyeshadows. Maybe I'll add a third one, but to use 10, I feel like that's gonna be a little bit difficult. This shade right here, Bomb Ass, it has to be my favorite. I swatched it at Ulta and I was like, okay, this is the palette that I want. I do not know how this is gonna turn out, but before we continue, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below right now. Also, make sure you click that little notification bell button is right next to the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out from any of my upcoming new videos and if you would like to follow me on instagram at natalie Rea, that's how you can find me and without further ado let's get to it so i just realized that there is no light shade i usually go with the lightest shade all over my lids and i can't even do that today anyways let's go ahead and do this there is six matte shades and four shimmers so i'm going to start off with the matte obviously i think it's the easiest to work with the first shade that I'm going to take is Rush right here. I'm going to apply this over the crease line. I actually just wanted to do over the crease line, but it didn't work out. Okay, next shade up is going to be Rush. And this is going to go right on the crease line as well. But instead of dragging it all the way up, we're just going to stay as close as possible to the crease. I really hope this works out and it doesn't look like an entire mess just because I've never done so many eyeshadows because you have to blend so much and honestly I get really tired because look at these arms I'm like really weak I don't work out well actually with all this blending I feel like I'm working out I'm just gonna take the first little brush that we started with and blending those two together I'm gonna be taking Mug Shot and I'm actually gonna be mixing it with this. Is that cheating? Is that like two in one? I don't know. I'm still using both, right? So I'm gonna take both of these two. Holy crap, this is so pigmented. For this one, I'm gonna try and just go right on the crease line without bringing it all the way to the top. So this is just gonna be like that one line. I honestly feel like I already messed up like I was just poking myself so much right here that it kind of went all the way up Which is what we did not want. This is really nice. I actually got a little bit of fallout now. It's on my nose mm, Let's remove this by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I do have my base done. Primer, foundation, concealer, bronze, blush. I have all of that done. I have my eyebrows done. So, okay, so just a little update. We have already used four Rush Alert, Mug Shot, and Secret. Really quick, I'm going to go in with my concealer. So I'm going to put this right on my lid. One of the best things to do is just honestly just open your eyes as wide as possible. You can even look up and then once you close it, you could see where the line hit. Like if I close my eye right now. You can see where it hit. So that's how far I need to go up. Okay, so for the tip, I'm going to go back with Secret Alone. And I'm just going to put it right on the outer corner. I'm going to mix a little bit of Mug Shot. Just the two shades that we used together. Okay, next shade up, I'm gonna go in with Framed. And this baby is gonna go just right here. Next up, I'm going in with Siren. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. I absolutely love this. Alright guys, we have four shades left. I'm feeling good about this. It's not looking bad. However, they just happen to be shimmers, which can be really intimidating. Frankly, I'm a little scared to F this up. I'm gonna go in with Boom right here. And Boom is just gonna go on top of these mattes right here. Since I did mention this before, Balm Ass is absolutely my favorite one right here. So that's gonna go on the rest of my lid. Oh my goodness, orgasm. This feels amazing. 
not gonna lie after i purchased this i came home i looked at it again and i was like oh, wait a minute this honestly feels so familiar i'm gonna insert a picture right here of the violet voss pro hashtag palette i feel like every single shade that's in here the violet voss has it except for this bomb as eyeshadow i mean just like the name the name is perfect for it. Alright guys, we have two shades left, which is Lolly and On Camera. I'm thinking I'm going to do Lolly for my inner eye. And then On Camera, I still don't know yet. <laughs> okay, so here goes Lolly. Okay, that... Mm -mm. That was major fallout. Alright guys, so we still have one more shadow left. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with Alert and Mug Shot, which is this one right here and this corner one. And I'm gonna use this for my bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with the one eyeshadow left. And now I am finally ready to go in with on camera. Make sure we really get up on this pan. Love. I'm going back in with bomb ass just a little bit just to brighten this up. We did it! We did it! And I am actually really proud of myself. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Hopefully it comes out the same. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face. Highlighter, lipstick, and eyelashes. Yeah. Alright guys, I am back and I'm officially done. I just completed my entire makeup. Excuse the hair. I really haven't done anything to it. I fell asleep with wet hair and you know, this is how it ends up. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to join my Raya family. And also, I wanted to throw this out there. If you guys have any video requests, make sure to comment down below. Let me know. There's a huge chance I might do it, so don't be afraid. Comment down below. I've been trying to have my husband in one of my videos since day one he thinks he's special and he does not want to come out in any single one of them until i have 15,000 subscribers so you guys already know if you guys want to see him make sure to subscribe he hates being on camera that's why you hardly ever see him in my vlogs or on my instagram he just hates taking pictures but don't get me wrong i do have a lot of pictures of us together in my camera row there's just all of me looking cute and him like this and I really don't know why. I mean, I'm that type of person who loves it. Like if I'm walking in a public area and there's a group of people taking pictures, I'll literally run up to them and then photobomb. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.